Hello and welcome back. You've messed up your Polarin configuration and you want to know how to roll it back. Let's have a look at what you can do. Before you can even start, you should download a subversion client. I would recommend to you to use the Tortoise SVN client, which is very nicely integrated in the Windows environment. So before we can start repairing the system, we need to mess it up. In our example, I will delete the custom fields for the issue work item. Let's remove some of the defined work item types. And let's mess up the workflow a bit. So I will introduce some, some status, some custom actions, so just that it behaves not in the way that we want it to behave. So let's have a look at the result of our configuration activities. At first, we can see that only three work item types are available in our project. The others disappeared because we have removed the work item types. You can also see on top that Polarin is not anymore able to interpret the work items. They are just displayed as white boxes. Also, the custom fields are not anymore editable. For example, target version has been an enumeration field we can just see the value, it's not deleted, but Polarin is not anymore able to interpret it. So is it a drop down? Should it be a date field? That's not clear anymore because we removed the complete custom field configuration. Also, we can see that our super action is now available in the workflow and nobody really knows what this action is doing. So time to repair. The first thing we want to do to repair the repository is to check it out. We will use Tortas SVM for this checkout operation and we need to provide the URL to the subversion repository of Polarium. In our case, you can see that it has typically the URL to the Polarium server slash repo slash and then the path to the project that you want to repair. After the checkout, all the files of the Polarium repository of your project will be on your local machine. Now we use the subversion log command in Tortoise SVN that's called show log to find out what has been changed in the repository. And here we can see all revisions, all changes that has been done so far. So we will find our status changes, the deletion of the custom fields, and we need to use this log to find the latest version which was still working. In my example, that's the version number 63375. And now we want to use the subversion revert to this revision command to roll back to that revision. And this will apply the changes to my local copy so that my local copy now on my machine represents the latest version which was good. So the one we have just selected. And now I will just commit back that rollback version to make it the actual version, the latest version. And you can see all the configuration files that are applied now, that are changed. And that's all you need to do actually. Now let's have a look at how the system behaves. We refresh the screen and we can see that now the white boxes have disappeared. We can see now the, all the work item types back again. We can see that the custom field is rendered correctly and also our custom action has disappeared. Right, so don't be afraid to change configurations because you can always roll them back.